Hey everyone, this video is going to be a bit different from what I normally do. Uh, I'm going to be testing out the flashlights on all my smartphones, seeing how powerful they are. So I'm going to start off with the Xperia series. Now you see here, I have a stack of the Xperia phones. So these actually all may have the same flashlight, I'm not even sure, I haven't tested them out yet. But that will be the first ones, that, those will be the first ones I test. And then I'll be moving on to the Apple, Samsung, LG, uh, HCC. So let's, get, let's uh, go ahead and get started with the Z3 Compact. Not that bright. Let's move on to the Z5 Compact. Looks about the same to me. All right. And then the Z3V, again, pretty similar. And then this is the Z3, uh, Z3 Plus. Looks brighter to me there. Let me just test that again. Let me see the Z3V. And then the Z3 Plus. Yeah, it looks brighter. All right, the M5. Wow, yeah, that's pretty bright. That's definitely brighter than the other ones. And you guys see I have uh, Uncharted there in the corner. Uncharted 4, no reason other than I'm really enjoying the game. All right. Z5. Mm, that's interesting. So the Z5, uh, this is actually Z5 Premium, not as bright as the M5. Show the M5 again. Z5 Premium. And then the Z5 Ultra. Wow, okay, so C5 Ultra is very bright as well. Similar to the M5. And then finally, um, so the phone I'm recording this with is the Z5, regular Z5. Let me try to figure out how I can put on the flash on this. Actually, not sure if I can turn on the flashlight on the Z5, but uh, it should be the same as the Z5 Compact and Z5 Premium. If it's not, I'll make a note at the end of the video so you guys know. Um, but let's move on to the iPhone. Alright, so this is the iPhone 5S. Pretty bright, especially for a phone that was a few years old. So I think that beats, that beats most of the Xperia phones, uh, aside from the M5 and C5 Ultra. Now, let's look at the iPhone 6. Again, pretty bright, looks similar to me. Probably the same flashlight. And then the SE. Again, pretty similar. You see it versus the 6 again. This is the 6. Yeah, very similar. Actually, I think it might be the same. All right, and now we have the LG G5. Yeah, pretty bright there. Pretty impressive. Now for the HTC 10. So decent, I think a step down from the last few that we saw. And now the Nexus 5X. Well, pretty bright. All right, two more to go. Correction, one more into Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Very bright. All right guys, so I think that we have a few winners here. So let's just cycle through the winners. Uh, so we're going to start again with the LG G5. Alright, and then this uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. The Nexus 5X.
the uh, Xperia C5 Ultra. Uh, the Xperia M5. So again, interesting that the two mid-range phones uh, are the most impressive in the Sony lineup. And then the iPhone, they all look the same to me. So I have the uh, iPhone SE here. All right, let me just do the uh, S7 Edge. Yeah, this one, I think, iPhone SE again. Yeah, okay, so the iPhone SE is definitely a step down from that. The S7 Edge, definitely better. Let me test the S7 Edge versus the M5. So here's the M5. S7 Edge, yeah, looks brighter. The M5 again. All right, let's look at the C5 Ultra. Looks the same as the M5. Here's the uh, S7 Edge again. So, Vantage S7 Edge. The Nexus 5X. That might be some competition. Hard to tell. Maybe Slight Edge S7 Edge, but here's the S7 Edge again. The Nexus 5X. S7 Edge. Alright, and then <clears throat> LG G5. S7 Edge. LG G5. And again, the S7 Edge. You know, I'm going to move back a little bit. Maybe I can figure it out that way. All right, guys, so standing further back, here's the S7 Edge. About five feet back where it was before, so that wall you're seeing is about 20 feet. LG G5. And Nexus 5X. All right, I'm gonna go all the way to the wall, all the way to the back wall. So this is gonna be even further back, about 25 feet. Nexus 5X. Wow, you're really, really powerful flashlight. LG G5. And the Galaxy S7 Edge. Nexus 5X again. Yeah, I don't think I can go any further back than that. Um, but obviously all three very impressive. Alright guys, so I ran some more tests with the three finalists. The uh, Nexus 5X, the LG 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And I have a pretty good idea of who the winner is. But I'm going to run our tests here just to make sure. So you see I have this creepy looking hallway. Uh, I'm going to be starting off with the LG G5. Alright, so here's the LG G5. Now you see at the end of that hallway, I have a few items. I have that Uncharted 4 game, a backpack, a cup, and a shoe. So it might be hard to make out with this. But then let's move on to the S7 Edge. A little easier to make out in my opinion, a little bit better, a little brighter. Alright. And then the Nexus 5X. So in my opinion, this is the brightest of the three. Now I'm going to do one more test. I'm going to walk back about 25 feet uh, all the way to the end wall. I'm going to leave the camera here, but just going to walk back. Don't worry guys, there's not anything that's going to pop out of this video or anything. It's not a horror video. Um, Alright, so again, here is the LG G5. So pretty impressive, but personally I think the other two are better. Here is the S7 Edge.
all right? And then, in my opinion, the best one in next is 5x. All right, so let's just go through that one more time. DLGG5. Moving around a little bit for you guys. A few different angles. DS7 Edge. And the Nexus 5X. All right, guys, so pretty interesting. Uh, interesting that the Xperia M5 and the C5 Ultra were the best of the Xperia bunch, even though those were mid-range. And the Nexus 5X is more of a mid-range phone uh, compared to these other flagship devices, but it beat them out. So this was a fun video more than anything. Uh, but hopefully at least some of you guys found it helpful. Hopefully it was enjoyable. And thanks for watching.